Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. You're, you're about to hang out here with me. Uh, we're world, yeah! Holy world! With Jose Trujillo. <laughs> I, I crack myself up, man. Uh, nobody makes me laugh more than myself. I, 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 I really... I, I go into making myself laugh. <laughs> so... Guys, I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, about staying staying light, okay? Staying light, stay loose. That's what I've been talking about today. Look for different ways to stay light and loose. Uh, life can be very difficult if, if, if you run out of perspective. Perspective makes everything, like clicks everything. When, when I am having a, a quote-unquote bad day, or a bad moment, or a bad week, or fuck it, maybe even a bad month, right? Some people, I mean, we've, we've, I've, I've been guilty, where I'm like, every day I'm complaining about something for a whole month, right? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I, I'm, I'm gonna be as, I'm gonna be as, as, as transparent as possible. Sometimes for a whole three months, I'll go complaining on something for an entire quarter, <laughs> four months, complaining on something, guys, and. Uh, and I have to I have to snap out of it, right? So what do I do? What do I do to snap out of it? Well, I go back to perspective. I go right back to perspective. What what is it? So here's here's something that I tapped into that has helped me a lot, and it's helped me a lot in the recent years uh, as a as a as a professional artist, and and as a human being in general, right? What if this is this question popped into my mind uh, as I was driving? And when I'm driving, uh, I'm, I'm not really thinking much. It's almost like I'm just, I'm just, you know, just kind of cruising, right? And, and kind of like when you're taking a shower and good, and, and good, good ideas come to you, you know, or right before you go to sleep, good ideas come to you because it's when the brain kind of rests, right? You're not hyperactive. Even though you're paying attention, you're not hyperactive. And, and so, so I, this idea came to me. Uh, like really cool it just kind of hit me and I was like what if I'm going okay for, for forget about forget about like like all the Zen stuff and all the you know super spiritual stuff and tree hugging stuff what if you're just literally going through the best moment in your life and you can't see it like and I, I know it sounds like oh yeah blah, 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 you know but no like think about it what if right now it's just the best moment in your life and you just can't see it. What if you just can't see it? And I thought about it and I was like, you know, I've been talking to some people that I know, some family members, and they're like, oh my God, life has treated me so bad. I never earned any enough money or this or that, or I've been working my whole life and I never, you know, did what I wanted to or whatever. And I'm like, what if you're complaining about the best time in your life? And you can't see it. Just think about that one for a second. Just think about it for a little second. Like, what if you're complaining about the best time in your life? What if this this moment right now is literally the best time in your life? Like what you're going through right now, your marriage or your divorce or whatever you're going through. What if later on it's gonna be like some fucking bullshit cancer that is gonna eat you up slowly? Or or God forbid, like you know, even worse, right? Your family, your children. Uh, what if the the state or the the government you live in gets ten times worse? Like, I'm not saying not to be proactive and say, you know what, I want it to be better. Yes, but what if it gets ten times worse in the next twenty years or so, or whatever? Or, or you know, just what if what if this right now? You know, driving around with your fucking little coffee and, and, and having your first world problems. What if that is really, is really not the problem? What if that is like a blessing? What if you're going through life right now and it's difficult? I, I get it. I get it. What if it's difficult? What if you do have a, a, a horrible uh, challenge, physical or a disease or something or your family, but, but even in a place like that, what if what if it literally is the best time in your life and you just can't see it for whatever reason i don't know what the reason may be maybe maybe lack of i don't know whatever but i i think it goes back to the same thing i think it's like lack, lack of perspective you know and 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 i know that 
that it's uh it's it's not it's not very uh it's not very nice right to 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 talk about these things because it, it's not comfortable it's not comfortable but i think about that like like my son is is 12 years old right now and i'm thinking man what if what if this is the best time like right now what if what if whatever i complain about is bullshit you know and it's and it it either gets so much worse or or it never comes i never see it right i remember when my when my when my mother was uh my mother died of 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 cancer uh, a, a brain a very a malignant brain tumor and i i remember when she was when she was uh, leaving this world she tried to to even even in those moments she tried to convince me to not worry about things you know even in those moments where, where tremendous amount of pain uncertainty uh she was extremely sad uh and and and, and what i noticed about her sadness wasn't about her was about leaving her 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 kids behind she she had 10 kids and there was 10 of us you know very old school catholic family uh lots of children and and even in those moments when she talked to me when she when she had moments right to talk to me uh she would she would tell me not to worry that that things are as they should be right every second every step of the way and maybe i was too young to to you know In theory, I understood that it's it's sort of like when a child reads you know reads a good book or the Bible or whatever, right? Some sacred scripture, and and they read that and they're like, oh my god, this, yeah, this I understand, this, this is beautiful. But in theory, right? And then as you go, you you grow older and life starts kicking your ass and punching you in the face, and and you start eating some dirt and then and then you know as as you grow up, right? And then you 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 mature, right? Because because life has a a beautiful way of making you mature. It kicks your ass. And, and and then you start understanding those things you read or those or those stories or you really because it's it's experiential it's not the, it's not theory right so it, I sort of see it that way when I was in you know with my mother as she was as she was uh, leaving this world uh, I felt like oh yeah I understand what's going on I understand this uh, but not really fully grasping all of it you know not grasping all of it and and as i start growing up and maturing i i, I mean and i i know that you know wait till i'm 40 wait till, i mean well till i'm 50 whatever right every stage is different but the recognition i think it's it's what's what's hitting me right now the recognition of what if everything is perfect even if even if it doesn't look that way probably especially if it doesn't look that way What if everything is the way it, sh it should be? And as a society, as, as whatever, right? We are so conditioned to, to look for the wrong thing, to, to, to neglect the silver lining, you know, to look for the wrong thing. Like, like I've caught myself complaining about the paintings that I need to do and all these things and like sitting there and like, oh, you know, just almost sobbing about all the work I need to do and, and I don't have enough time and I need more help and, and this and that and marketing and I've, I've caught myself doing those things, right? Because I happen to be human uh, and, and, and I had to snap out of it and be like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like 10 years ago, this would have been the dream. Why am I complaining about the dream? You know, and of course, it's natural, right? Human beings, we tend to do that. We're fighting so hard to get somewhere, and then when we have it, we spit, at its, we spit, we spit in its face, right? We're like, I don't want you anymore. <laughs> we tend to do things like that. Uh, but it's perspective, man. I just, I, I, I'm coming to understand that this whole game is perspective. And so when I started this video, I started telling you guys, what if... What if this whole thing, you're just not looking at it correctly? What if the fact that you can sit there and have a device that, you know, like a, like a smartphone, a device that people would have, you know, during the Cold War, you know, hundreds of thousands of people would have died to have this device you're holding in your hands. This, this, this fucking phone, right? 
smartphone that you can reach the entire world and and on and on and on and not just for business but for impact right for impact maybe you have something great to say maybe you maybe you need to something great to learn i don't know maybe you don't have something to say maybe you need some 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 sort of uh absorb something right and intake right it's not just it's not just outflow but maybe you need to intake some some positive vibes some good information uh someone to remind you that this that this whole thing this whole game is 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 perspective and we speak based on our privileges right we speak from our privileges if things are going great then life is great if things are going not so great then life sucks right and 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 we can't see through the fog we can't see through the fog and and what if you're sitting on a gold mine the spiritual inf- through influence or income whatever it is your health your smartphone your family your wife, your children, your whatever, I don't know, right? Your partner, whatever, whatever. We're all human. We're all, we're all experiencing life in so many different ways. Uh, what if you're sitting in a gold mine, literally sitting on a gold mine, and you can't fucking see it? I've asked myself that, and it's been three days that I've been asking myself this. Wouldn't it be worth it? This is my question, right, that I ask myself. Wouldn't it be worth it just in case... It might not be true. I may convince myself out of it. But just in case I am sitting on a gold mine. To be grateful that I am. Even if I can't see it. Like if everything is perspective. And I'm and I have a blind spot. On the good things in life. Can I just pretend that I am sitting on a gold mine because I possibly am but I just can't see it right I definitely can't see it in, 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 in when days don't look don't present to me through my limited bullshit view of what the day is supposed to look like you know uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't finish this uh, I needed to send an email I didn't finish this commission I needed to sell this other painting I needed to get a gallery exhibit and on all the bullshit that we go through as as as, as, as human beings that we're, we're all chasing something right we're all chasing something accolades income maybe all of it who knows we're all chasing something peace peace of mind happiness whatever you want to call it whatever whatever your cup of tea is we're all chasing something and I and I and I found out when that when I'm when I'm chasing something in a state of recognition that I am sitting on a gold mine, it turns into a game and it turns into enthusiasm as opposed to this desperate thing that I need to catch. I no longer depend on catching it, but boy do I want to catch it, right? It's fun. So my, my 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 happiness, my 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 peace does not depend on catching it, but it's a fun game. I want to catch it. Right? It's a fun game, and I want to milk it. And I want to play until until my time's up, right? Until the day is over. I, I want to act as a child who gets thrown in the in, in the in the sandbox and knows knows it has enough knowledge. That at some point my father is going to come and it's going to pick me up and it's going to tell me it's time to go home. But I want to play while I'm there. You know, I want to play while I'm there. I want to have fun. I want to throw sand around. I want I want sand to get in my diaper, man. <laughs> I want to piss other kids off too, right? I want to play. I want this to be fun. I want to play. I I I'm, I crave playing. Because ultimately, I think this is all some illusion, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be philosophical here. It's a reality, guys. It's a fucking illusion. I remember having loved ones, and they're now they're not here, but they're, but they're in my mind. And some people say they're still in my heart. Yeah, of course, whatever. But it's it's an illusion now, right? It's like when you go out and you have fun and you get to date people and you have so much fun you know you got drunk and everything you got nothing right i don't care if you spend a hundred thousand dollars in one night you got nothing all you got is the memories and a fucking bullshit story to tell people right that's all we got at the end you know you go to a nice restaurant it turns into shit whatever you eat 
all you got is a good story. Oh my God, that, that restaurant's so nice. You know, the, 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 the steak was delicious. The, oh, I know, I know the chef. All you got is, is a story, it's an illusion. That's all you got left after the experience, right? It's an illusion. And so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to, to be a, um, existentialist here, but, and I'm definitely not going through an existentialist crisis. I, at least I don't think so. Uh, but I'm going through a recognition, I think, in my life right now, that w what if everything is right and I'm just constantly bitching about it because I can't see it? What if everything's just right? You know, and, and, and it doesn't mean that, that because it's right, I should sit on my ass and do nothing. It could mean that if I wanted to, but I don't want to, right? So can I recognize that it's right and, and still want to play? Can I recognize that that at some point my time's gonna be up in this in this in this sandbox? At some point my time's gonna be up. Yours is too. Whoever's watching this, you ain't getting out of this alive, right? No one is. And at some point the time's up. The, 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 the clock is ticking. It don't matter. Right? It don't matter. We all, we all think that the, the younger are gonna go last, but that's. It's proven that that is not the case. You go when you have to go. And so the, the, the clock is ticking. And I'm thinking, what if this whole thing is just... It's just meant to be a good time. What if, what if someone puts you in the... Literally... Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I, I think we all need it, right? I think we all need it. And, and what if, what if, literally, we're we're sitting on a gold mine? Your children, your your job, that job we complain about, man. Like ten years ago, I would have been fucking crying to 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 paint for a living. And when I did, all I did was complain. All I did was complain. My prices are not high enough. I'm not marketing enough. I need to hire more people. Oh my god. Oh, and then complaining at my, at, my, at my beautiful wife, man. My poor wife that she's always on my side helping me punch this thing and making it happen. And I'm constantly complaining at her and telling her, you are not moving fast enough. We need to move faster. For what? For what? I mean, it makes sense if you're having fun. Dude, we got to ride. We got to ride this faster if you're having fun. But if you're not having fun, for what? What is the end point? What is the end goal of it? More money so that I can be more miserable? I ain't, I ain't against money. I'm telling you, I love that shit. I, I'd love to burn as much as possible. I love it. It's like, it's not happiness, but boy, does it look like it. But if you're having fun, if you're not, what's the point of it? You know, what's the point of it? <laughs> Richard says, Jose, <laughs> what are you smoking? <laughs> Uh, sometimes thinking is dangerous, right? I, 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 and I wasn't thinking about it. It just kind of came to me. It, it was a little realization, I think. It was like, it just kind of, it was almost like that big brother that, that, or that bully that, you know, you think you're a badass and then that bully like gives you one right, right on the jaw and it knocks you down and then you, it reminds you, right? It reminds you that you're not the bigger kid in the, you know, your ego, right? It, it puts, it puts you back in check. That's kind of what it felt like, and, and for the past three days, I've been, I've been. This has been going through my mind. Like, what, what if this? What if you're really just your life is good, man? Like, what if everything is good? And, and yeah, you want more, and yes, you want accolades, and you want more income, and you want more happiness and more health. Yeah, but what if you're supposed to go after it with a big fucking smile on your face, and you're not? And you're just not, you know. What 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 if the only way to milk everything out of this is with enthusiasm? I know I get it. Not everybody's like walking around happy, but enthusiastic. I know some people are moving around the world enthusiastic, and those are the people that are winning. You know the the, the Greek word right in Theos in God right in God. 
like you're, you're having God's joy, right? Enthusiastic. It, what, I, I know some people are going through a world like that. I've experienced that in little segments, right? Little moments where I'm like, I'm chasing after something and it's fun and, and I'm confident and I'm doing my work. And, and you know, I, I never I never get uh, tired or angry because I'm overworking, right? Overworking. I never get tired. Um, I get like that when I'm overthinking. I never get like that. Some people say, oh my God, I have to rest. I'm overworking. I'm like, I, I don't, that doesn't happen to me. I don't know. You know, thank God it doesn't happen to me. I, I could be pulling 16 hour days and I, um, man, I have a, I have a spring on my step. I'm so happy. I'm glad things are going, you know, excellent. And I could be pulling eight hour days and, and spent seven of them here and have the worst migraines, the worst days, the work, I mean, being just complaining about life and on and on and on. I don't think work does it. I know some people say that it's, well, you know, you have to take a step back. I don't think work does it. I think what it, what does the lack of perspective is that we get trapped into the way things, we think things should be. So we overthink, right? My, my, my wife should behave this way. My, you know, I should behave this way. And sometimes it's not even other people. It's us. I don't have enough character. I don't have enough follow through. Bullshit. Yeah, you do. You, you do when you're enthusiastic. So rather than asking ourselves and telling ourselves, I just don't have enough follow through. Well, maybe that's not what you need. Maybe what you need is enthusiasm. I know people when they're enthusiastic about something, they have a shitload of follow through. You know, they can't wait to be there. If you're enthusiastic about something, I mean, I remember before I turned 21 when I wanted to go to the bars, I was so enthusiastic about going to the bars and drinking and meeting girls and, and you know, just having fun that, man, I was like, I need, I need to be there. I need to be there. So I would, I would go and hang out with my friends after party and, and try to sneak into a bar and, and, you know, like try to find out how to make it happen in a joyous way, right? Yeah, I gotta make it happen. Uh, anything, I think, anything that we want when we go after something enthusiastically, you know, with a lot of joy, with a lot of, a lot of, uh, um, the spring on your step, man, where the world doesn't feel heavy, you know, when the world doesn't feel heavy, when you, when you, you take a step and it feels like you're just bouncing. You make a painting or you, whatever you do, you make a phone call, you know, like, where I'm at right now, what I'm doing is, is, is not just painting, right? It's marketing, selling, branding, and, and you know, all of that, all of that jam, right? <laughs> so it takes phone calls, it takes, it takes advertisements, it takes, you know, buying ads and that kind of stuff. And, and, and so if one's not careful, one starts asking oneself, well, did I, did I get into this for that? You know, and yeah, you did, you got into it for that too. Like, that's part of it, too. This is how you're pissed all the time. You're unhappy all the time. And, and, I, and I think, you know, I, again, I, I've been thinking about this for three days, right? And I feel like, what if someone, God, call it whatever you want, I don't know. Again, I don't know your cup of tea, right? How you how you intake? What if what if God like got you and then put a super expensive suit on you? This body that we call right, super expensive suit, the space suit that we have that scientists can't figure it out, right? And I know they can't figure it out because, because they, they, we can't, you know, we can't figure it out. Like, like, just look, look around. People can't, people still can't figure it. They can name stuff. They can say, oh yeah, you know, this is, this is called this, that's called that, but they can't figure it out. They don't know how it functions really, right? We, we still haven't gotten there and, and much less the psyche part of it and mo even much less the, the metaphysics of it, right? We, we haven't figured it out. We haven't figured it out. Our soul, right? All those other things, all those other aspects of, of, of life. And what if what if they put you in this super expensive suit and then they and then they sat you 
and basically a gold mine. Right? They brought you here. It's like it's a gold mine. And you're sitting here in this world in the sandbox and you're rather than seeing that because you can't see it, right? Only saints and, and, and awakened people and and you know Buddhas and Jesus is and uh, those those people can see it, but but you and I we're fucked. We can't see it, right? So so we have to spend our life complaining about our life. And and what if you just can't see it? And and for a moment, for a moment, you say, you know what? I'm gonna suspend my inability to see this. I know I can't see it. I know I can't see it. Everybody says there's Bibles, there's books. That, everyone says that there is. The power of the universe in my body. There is a power of the universe in my existence. I am one with God. You know, and even Yoda says it. You know, one with the force and this and that. And Jesus said it. You know, I, you know, may they be one with me as I am one with the Father. And on and on and on. And everybody, right? Everybody who is, at, you know, in that sacred level understands it. But the rest of us, no, we can't see it. Just can't, right? We, we can't go through a day without bitching about something. And bitching hard about it, not just like you know, or it, or it's one or or one or ten things, right? Either one thing or ten things. So my bills or my, my payments or this or that, whatever it is. And I just thought, and I know I'm going in circles here because because it's the same thought, you know. I'm just trying to present it in different ways, but it's the same thought. What if you can suspend the fact that you can't see it and just believe that it is? You know, just make belief, just suspend it. You know, just suspend it. You know, I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure I'm sitting on a million, billion, trillion, whatever, you know, opportunities, money, health, peace. I call it whatever you want, whatever you're chasing, right? But I'm going to suspend the fact that I can't see it. And I'm going to be grateful for it. I'm going to pretend to be grateful for it. Sort of like... Sort of like when you're a kid, you know? You're a kid, you you, 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 you know your parents, right? They say, oh, your mama, your dad, right? And especially people that have been, that have been uh, adopted and no one has told you that they're not your parents, right? And then, and then you know, maybe they wait till you're older and they, they, they come to the, with the news and they're like, you know what, Johnny? Actually, you know, we are your parents, but we wanted to tell you this. You're ready. You know, you're ready for this. You, you were adopted. You're like, oh, shit, I was adopted. Oh, my God. I thought you guys were always my parents. That didn't change, right? The fact that you suspended because you didn't know. Right? You suspended the belief because you didn't know better. Well, in the same way, I would like to practice suspending the belief that my life sucks. I'd like to practice that. I'd like to find a way to practice to suspend the belief that my life sucks or that I have something to complain about. Now, don't get me wrong. I think, I think I'm, 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 I'm biting a lot here. I don't know if I can chew this, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend that I can't. I'm going to suspend the belief that life is difficult, that life is horrible, or that, or that I have problems. I'm going to change the language. I'm going to start changing. I'm going to start calling them challenges, like in a game. You know, first challenge, second challenge. I'm going to start calling them challenges, and I'm going to start thinking about this. Like a playground. Like this is a playground. And I was one of the lucky, I don't know, one of the lucky seven billion, right? If there's more stars than people, we are very fucking lucky, right? If, if, if they if, if they did more stars than people, whoever they is, because people say that there's billions and billions and billions of stars. That's what scientists say, right? If there's more stars than people, I feel pretty fucking lucky that I'm here. Like, 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 fuck you, stars. <laughs> you're, you're not as unique as I am. You know, that kind of deal. I don't know, I'm just... I just wanted to share that with you, this little moment. I don't know if... You know, take it or leave it, who knows, but... 
Maybe if you can find it. Maybe you're already doing it. You know, and I'm late to the I'm late to the party. I don't know. But I've been thinking about that. What if what if what if you're sitting on a gold mine and and you, and you just can't see it? And okay, well, you know, you could go about your day and say, well, I can't see it, so fuck it, I can't see it. But what if you can't see it and you and you, and you choose to say, I'm pretty sure I can't see this one, but I'm pretty sure that it's a good thing. So just in case, I'm gonna be grateful. Just in case. You know, if there are more stars in the heavens than human beings, I'm gonna be I'm I try to be grateful. Just in case. Because someone out there thought that I was more unique. That this was a unique experience. Otherwise they would have done more they, you know, they would have done more people than stars. It's not so unique. Right? Oh, they actually did more people than stars. Some, 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 someone someone created more people than suns. You know? It's gotta be pretty unique. It's, you know, someone, whatever, you know, call it intelligence, call it, call it Yoda, call it God, I don't know, whatever, you know, again, whatever rocks your boat. But something out there, you know, Mother Nature, intelligence, God, Virgin Mary, whatever, right? I don't know. Zeus, if you want to. Zeus. <laughs> Someone thought that I was more special. Mm. Just a little thought, you know. Someone thought I was a little bit more special. And so they went with fear of me. And someone thought it was pretty unique. You know, that, that, that they gave me my own soul. My own personality. You will not find another fucker here. Just like me. Or like you. It's just not. It's impossible. No way, Jose. They they can be named Jose, but they're sure as hell not going to be me. And so, yeah. yeah. Feels about right. Feels about right. So, I'll leave it at that. Anything after that is going to be ranting, so I don't want to rant. I don't know if that was a rant. <laughs> I don't know if it was a rant. <laughs> but I started the video by saying that, you know, keep it light, guys. Keep it light. It ain't that serious. You 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 ain't getting out of this alive. It's a fucking dream. You're gonna wake up at some point. Keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it fun. I think I think I think that's my that's the lesson I'm learning. And man did I get some punches right in the nose to learn this one. But keep it light and keep it fun. Play with it, you know. Go save the world. I don't know. Become a billionaire. Enlighten yourself. Become the next Buddha if you want to. Whatever. But keep it light. It feels about right, I think. And not a lot of shit feels right to me often. This one does. This one just feels right. It feels like feels like a little gift that something is trying to give me and I'm gonna take just in case again right I'm gonna suspend the fact that I that I formulated this in my mind and, and someone someone's trying to give me this gift and I'm gonna accept it and I'm gonna I'm gonna think whatever whoever is trying to give me this and I'm going to listen to it and apply it just in case I right? I don't want to not use the gift. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna let it sit in me and, and, and see where it goes. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm pretty tired of making this thing so serious. You know? It's like, it's like, it's a constantly getting lost in and everything, you know, and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to say like, oh, I'm going to become apathetic about, no, but I, I, I'm going to go after things and things that matter and, 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 and everything. I mean, whatever, right? I'm still going to watch TV. I'm not going to go and, <laughs> I'm still going to watch TV. <laughs> I'm not going to go to a monastery and sit there. Uh, but, but always with maybe a little, 
recognition, you know, a little underlining tone, a little note on the side, a little whispering voice that is telling me, don't forget, this is a game. Okay. Maybe that's, you know, the little, little cricket, little Jiminy Cricket reminding me, don't forget, this is a game. This is a game, you know, you're playing the game and the clock is ticking, so play it. Not wisely, not happily, play it. Not right, not wrong. Just play it. It's a fucking game. It's, you're supposed to play it. You're not going to win at it. And you're not going to lose either. You're just going to get out of the game. You're going to get thrown out of the game. That's all. You're not going to win. You're not going to lose. No one wins at the end of it. I don't care how much money you put together. You ain't winning. No one wins at the end of it. Or I don't care how much how much, I don't know, whatever, you know, recognition or, or status or whatever you get. No, no one's winning. They don't say, oh my God, you've won, you know, and even if they erect a statue with your name, you didn't win. You're not taking that. You're not even going with the satisfaction that you did that. You can't because you're not, you're not taking any of it. Not even your, not even your memories. So you're, you're not winning. Now, this is an insight. This, this game is to be played. You're not even winning at it. You don't win. You don't lose. What's the point of it then? Hey, you just play it. Richard said... Oh, well said. Thank you. Richard says we're put on earth to do good. Yeah, I mean, why not? I'm sure. I'm sure that's part of it. To influence, to the good, to, you know. I feel like we're we're like gloves, like gloves, you know, like a glove, like a mitten or a glove. And something is trying to experience. But it has to wear the glove. And, and we are we are the glove. That's what it feels like. You know, just like a like a welder needs to you know, or someone who's who's creating something and it's very hot, they can't put their hands in there because the environment doesn't support it, right? Their their, their hands were would melt off or or you know, and so. So it has to use a glove, right? In order to to experience that level of heat. That new experience, right? And I think we're the glove. I really do. I, I, I'm coming to understand that, that we're a glove. A very expensive glove. It's a spacesuit, you know. It's very expensive. And we're having a very unique, extremely elegant experience and we can't fucking see it you know it's like the scuba diver wants to experience depth right in the water he puts on the scuba suit gets the tank the gas or the oxygen right without it it won't experience the depth of it you know, without it, you can't experience the depth of it. You need, you need that, you need that suit, just like space suits, right? You can't experience the space without the space suit. I think something is trying to experience this, this life thing, and it's it might be a very difficult environment, a very extravagant super expensive environment and the only way that it can come forward is through this through this thing right and and, and that's why we're here we're avatars <laughs> we're avatars you know you, you, you can't experience being in that planet like that movie avatar without without having your your avatar
Now, I, I really, I really think that. I, I think we have a million reasons, a billion reasons to be grateful for the experience. But we can't, we can't see it. We, we got lost in the dream. That this is a, this is an, ex, a, an illusion, and we got lost in it. And and and, and it's a very expensive br. It's a very expensive br. Is such a unique experience. But it's like the actor believes in the movie, and can't you know those method actors, and they can't come out of the of the of the of the character. They can't leave the character. The actor believes in the movie. The actor believes that no matter where they go, they're inside the movie. So we can't we can't leave the character. And I think this is this is what it feels like. That sounds about right. It feels that way. And so we lose perspective of how rich this place is and how rich how rich it all is. The whole damn thing. Just the fact that we can breathe air. The whole damn fucking thing is so rich and I feel like we keep missing it. I know I do. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I keep missing it. All right, guys. I'll let you go with, with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist and, and you guys just uh, had a little chat here with me. You guys, or maybe you, heard, you guys heard me chat. Some of you, some of you chatted back. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sit on this for a little bit, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. All right, take care. Peace.